to show you are, we have two dream duffels. We have one medium, limited edition, and then the large. The small is just um, probably about from here to here. We had one, but we sold it. Um, we just didn't fit enough stuff in it. I pack a lot of stuff. So um, I'll show you the medium first. Um, we aren't using this one right now, so there's not really a whole lot in it, just some extra stuff. Um, so put the rack up so you can kind of see. So that's what the medium size looks like once it's all the way up. Um, we used this about the first half of our competition season last year and it worked out pretty well. I just pack a lot of extra stuff because I'm a backstage mom, so um, it just got a little bit too cramped in there um, with all of the shoes and all of the extra ex accessories and then I carry hair straighteners and everything. So um, I'll show you more detailed stuff on the large, which is pretty much the same as the medium, just smaller. So this is our large. We got this one second hand, so it's a little bit out of shape. Um, it leans a little bit, but otherwise they would normally stand straight up like this one. And then I'll show you kind of what I pack in it. I'm kind of a crazy dance mom, so um, as far as I'm really involved in the back, so I carry a lot of stuff. So um, I do recommend that you lock your dream duffel if you um, are at a competition. You know how crazy it is running back and forth and sometimes studios share. I'm not saying good or bad about anybody, but when you have a $200 hair straightener in your bag, you might want to lock it up. So we do carry lock. That's something easy for my daughter to remember, a combination. Um, and plus, if somebody were to get into your car, hopefully they wouldn't pick this up and steal it, but um, if they were to try, they probably would leave it. So they can't open it if there's a lock. So all Dream Duffels have this um, zippered part in the flap. We use it for um, spare tights, which our spare tights have been used, but we'll usually have two pairs of spare tights, um, an extension cord, which this one is brand new for us, um, these swivel, and then there's USB ports. Um, I have tested it, but I haven't tried it in dance. Um, but this is really handy because if sometimes you're in a room with two or three other studios and there's one outlet, it really sucks. Um, so this would come in handy. We can plug in a whole bunch of stuff and we can stretch clear across the room. And then we always have an extra strap or two for bras. I set up um, a checklist. So this is really helpful, especially if we go out of town. So um, I can probably do a link later but um, costumes, makeup, hair, and then miscellaneous stuff um, so that we can do kind of a check, check, check as we go. Um, there's been times when people have forgotten shoes or they have forgotten accessories or booty shorts or whatever and they have to run somewhere and competitions are usually on a Saturday or Sunday and when it's out of town it's just not the best situation. So, and then I'll show you how to set it up. So these go up, just pulling up to go down, you push this button on the top, and they just telescope down all the way. All of the sizes are the same. And our bag does have um, the little hooks that the bar can hook into back here, but our bag is so full I'm afraid it will break, so I just throw it in there. Just like that. Um, these are the Dream Duffel hangers, which I actually really like. We had different hangers, um, but they didn't fit the bag. They were, I had just wooden pantsuit hangers, and they were too wide. They did fit, but then when you're trying to stack all of your costumes, it does not work, um, especially in the medium or the small. So I would highly suggest getting these. I have found them used on eBay, um, on Facebook, anywhere. Then the um, garment bags are pretty handy. I've seen other garment bags from other companies too that are really nice and really similar, but I really like these. I'm not trying to sell Dream Duffel. I don't make money from them. Um, not everything that we have is Dream Duffel. Um, so the garment bags are made to specifically fit these hangers. If you use a bigger hanger in this, it did, I should have put one in here. It does not fit well. 
So you put the hanger in through like this. This is the original garment bag. There are newer ones that have a side zipper. Um, we have some of those, so I can kind of show you those. Um, a little placement here that you can put a card, which I started doing about the end of last year because when it came to recital time, we had a lot of um, costumes and not even as much as some of the other girls. And so um, it gets really crazy with all of the accessories and everything and you have to remember everything and sometimes I'm not there to help. So um, it's good to have that. And then little compartments. So these two are separated. This one's always by itself. This one I think is supposed to be for more like shoes and stuff, which works for like ballet shoes or jazz shoes, but for tennis shoes it does not work. It's too small. So tennis shoes are usually just tossed in there. But usually like um, tights or accessories, those kinds of things can go in these two pockets. Um, and it folds up really nice. I haven't noticed like any odors or anything with them. They wipe down really well. And then you can hang them like this or you can hang them like this. And then once everything is down, they hang pretty nice. Um, so usually when we get to competition um, or recital, we'll kind of open everything up and let everything kind of air out, get all the wrinkles out. So these are just spares for now. These are costumes from last year. Um, so this is a short gusseted. So and you can get the large ones gusseted. Um, I didn't buy any. The short um, is pretty much the same. Has the card, has the compartment. So you can see we've got ballet shoes and a leotard that doesn't like to stay on the hanger. Um, if it wasn't gusseted, it would obviously just be more like this. So um, those are kind of handy for like tutus and that kind of stuff. So I'll put all of these on here and you'll see it'll start to lean that way. And again, it's just because it's an old bag. I got it second hand. It actually had a broken zipper um, on one of these front compartments and the mom didn't want to fix it. So she just went and bought her daughter a new bag and sold this to me for a really cheap price. And I took this to a seamstress and she fixed it really cheap. So in the buckle and the buckle, you're right. The buckle was broken. And we did the, this buckle. I don't remember what was broken. Um, the seam was coming off. It like came off right away. Yeah. The top part came off. So we, um, I went to Dream Duffel's website and I bought a new one of these. And I think it was six bucks plus whatever for shipping. So not bad at all. You can buy replacement parts for these, for the buckle, um, the wheels, stuff inside, pretty much anything. So, okay. So these are our costumes from last year. And... It was after recital time and I literally threw stuff in here so it doesn't look very good. As you can see it is leaning um, but it's been leaning since we've gotten it and it's been fine so even if you push them all over here it still leans that way. I don't know what, what the deal is. Um, so I'll show you kind of what one looks like. This is a really long outfit um, but it still fits just fine. And then if it were to hang, this one's for competition. Jacket. So we always have our jacket, um, extra booty shorts, extra tights, bra, and then the extra strap is always over there. Um, we and then like one jazz shoe. We discovered to do that last year when other people had straps missing. So oh, pretty no, handy. Um, here's one of the side ones. So it's really nice. Um, this outfit didn't necessarily need the side uh, zipper. Uh, these just came out, I think, end of last year or early this year. Uh, this is the summer of 2017. So um, those came in handy. One of the outfits I was actually really excited to get it for was her nerd's costume because it was such a pain. It's all kind of like one piece, and it's just really, really hard to get in and out. Um, and we have it all like, well, now it's all torn up, but we had it all like safety pinned up and everything. And I mean, it had to be perfect or it was hard to get off and on. And if you're a dance parent, you know, sometimes you have 30 seconds to change. So the side is really, really nice. Um, her Haunted Mansion costume actually was the one that I was super excited to get this for because um, it's a very big poofy outfit um, and if it gets caught in this zipper at all this is very very delicate material um, which we know a lot of outfits for dance are delicate material and they're very expensive 
and it's not replaceable. So uh, if it gets caught in the zipper, you're kind of screwed. So it was really handy that um, the side zipper compartment ones came out. So what I do for organizing, um, and again, I just started doing this, is here are cards. And I actually used to have them just paper, but then um, they were getting wrinkled and I figured I could reuse them every year and wouldn't have to keep printing them, um, especially if she's in the same dance classes all the time. So I have seen people will take a picture of the child in the said costume with all of the accessories and put a picture here. I didn't think that was necessary because I'm a backstage parent. I know what accessories go with what. She knows what accessories go with what, but maybe some kids don't. Um, so I just put her, her dance studio there and then her name. Um, so this is her company. Um, so it was the, like a large group. And then uh, the name of the dance so that when we're at a competition and they say, you know, Haunted Mansion, you know, bloody, bloody, blah, 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 I can look and see. And then I wrote on it with um, dry erase marker. So it will come off, as you can see. It'll just wipe off um, or a wet paper towel or whatever. And I always put if they're going to wear shoes or not because jazz shoes, ballet shoes, foot undies, um, or barefoot. And then you've got other kinds of shoes too. So it gets really, really crazy. And some of the jazz and lyrical classes, I get a little bit confused. And so it's helpful to put, you know, barefoot, what kind of shoes, whatever. So I kept forgetting that she needed to be barefoot for this one. I kept trying to make her wear jazz shoes. So I wrote barefoot. Um, so that's kind of how I started organizing it. Um, and then like for her classes, um, and then like she's got team ones. So she's on specific team. Um, that's the name of the dance. Now for like actual classes. Um, so we've got Hip Hop Advanced. So I can use this again next year for Hip Hop Advanced. I can use this again for her team, for her company dance, or this one's her musical theater dance. So I can reuse them. Um, came in handy. I bought a laminator several years ago from Target, super cheap, um, and I buy replacement um, or uh, fillers for it, I think off of Amazon, and they're super cheap. So that's kind of my OCD organizing, but it works out really well. We are able to get in and out of outfits really, really fast. Um, and then I have a pretty strict rule of once you take it off, you put it back the way everything goes. You put all the accessories back in where they belong. Um, most of her dances didn't have a ton of accessories. Her nerds one did. Um, For the shoes thing, those like can like collapse and go and fit in it, so that's why they're in there. <laughs> Yeah, she did have special shoes that were just for this dance, so they fit in here really perfectly. Um, otherwise, you're going to be throwing shoes all over the place. And then she had glasses, so I wrapped it in bubble tape. They're in here. Um, and then tights, a bow tie, a hair scrunchie, tons of accessories. And if you put try to put that in just a regular garment bag, or we had some things that um, just threw them in like a Walmart sack or something. It gets crazy. And when I need a scrunchie and I'm digging through other kids' bags trying to find it while they're backstage on deck, it sucks. So I'm not saying everybody needs to do this, but it comes in handy when you have a lot of accessories like that. Fortunately, most of her dances didn't have a ton of accessories. Um, that one didn't have any. That was just yeah, shirts them, and pants some of them and didn't shoes. Have any. So it just comes in handy. And then I'll kind of show you inside of our bag. So the inside of our bag, maybe I'll take some of this down. Okay, so inside of the bag, it seems it looks a little messy, but it's really not. So um, her makeup shirt, which we just handmade, um, that she puts on over either backwards or buttons up over her outfits while she gets her makeup done, because we do all makeup at the site of um, comps. So that goes over her outfit. And then I'll show you a curtain later. My mom made a curtain for the rod. So it's really, really cute. So I'll show you that later. Um, a new purchase that I recently got is, um, a longer mirror. This one I think is a two foot mirror. Uh, it's all about attitudedancewear.com. I think they sell rack and roll bags, uh, and a couple other brands. The mirrors that Dream Duffel sells are great, but they're really heavy and they're really bulky and it just did not work for us. Um, as you can see, we have a ton of stuff and this bag is really, really heavy and I don't want to break it and I don't want to break any accessories or anything else. And so, um, 
I wanted something that was flat and compact, so I bought this. There is um, another one that you can buy that it's just one mirror, and then this is just plain, and you can fold it and then have it like on the table so the older girls, if they want to do some of their own makeup or touch-ups or whatever. But I liked this because it had this um, loop right here, which it's is kind of perfect. So you can hang it on the side here, and then she can look and see herself in the mirror kind of handy. Um, there are stools. I'll show you the stool in a little bit. And um, she can sit and like touch up her hair, touch up her makeup, or tell her she's beautiful. Tell herself she's beautiful. The little girls have a lot of fun playing in between dances with mirrors and stuff. So it's kind of handy. And it folds up flat. This, I think, um, was $20, $26. Um, the one that was three mirrors, which um, I think was pack and rack it was $40. I couldn't make myself do it. So, um, I got this one instead. So I'm not exactly sure why that, I guess you could, if you really wanted to wrap it, but we can just loop it over here and it's great. So, so the inside of our bag, we used to use this, um, attitude accessory case, which is dream duffel. Um, it folds up, rolls up flat has a two-sided mirror, one side is regular, the other side is dirty, is um, magnified. That's from Trinity. And then um, an accessory case, which you can move these around. Um, we have extras of these and you can organize it. We have like tide pins and stuff like that in here. And it hangs on your, on your rod up here. I did not like it because it's bulky. It takes up a lot of space in the bag and um, it weighed down our uh, rod. rod. And some people really, really like them. I liked the, uh, I liked this, that I could easily get stuff quickly. So like butt glue, stuff like that, I really liked. Um, our hair stuff all fit in here perfectly, our hair and makeup stuff. Um, I loved these compartments. I just was not a super big fan of how it fit once it was in the bag and so unfortunately this was a no-go we will be getting rid of this um, but it does just hang like this you can have it hang like this or you can move these and it will hang more like this um, you can hang it like this so that this is more out and then put the mirror here instead um, but again it just didn't work out for us so that is an option otherwise like I said I went and got this instead and then I pack our hair and makeup separately. So how I pack it, and I'm a little bit crazy, and I change stuff up all the time, so who knows if it will be like this in three months. Um, all of our hair stuff is right here, except with the exception of um, shine spray and hairspray. This is the best hairspray. I'm telling you, this is what I've used since she was probably three or four years old. This is what you need to use. If your hair doesn't hold curl, if it doesn't, if you have tons of flyaways, this stuff is the bomb. In fact, she did a study for a science fair project years ago and i think this was the best or second to best so it was the best and um, it was 32. and then aquage beyond shine we use this on all of our girls we usually have a few bottles usually every one of us backstage moms has it and then of course a bazillion bobby pins um glitter which i don't use during comps um that's more for recital hair ties i put on a carabiner Haha, uh -huh, Pinterest, fine. Um, comb, brush, I label everything. Her name's on everything, because you would not believe how many combs and brushes I have picked up that nobody knows who they are. And then we haven't had to use this, um, but... Um, yeah, we did. We used it at pictures. Okay, we did at pictures. Um, to get flyaways, so you can take a toothbrush and brush the flyaways, and it works really well in hairsprayed hair. So, um, I don't. another dance mom told me about that, so... We have that in case we need it. So all of our hair stuff is over here. It's always together. All of our, I'm going to say, emergency stuff is here. So this bag is kind of unmentionables. It's tampons, pads, if we need um, fresh wipes. And then for whatever reason, um, some studios you're allowed to wear panties, some you're not. We do have a pair of um, nude or flesh colored panties if we need them. So um, I have had to give these to other kids or even moms. Um, you never know when you're going to need them. And if you don't have it, it stinks. So 
We always have those available. And throughout the year, our supplies of everything diminishes and I have to refill as we go. This bag, and most of these bags are like free bags that I got somewhere or <laughs> something my mom gave me or my grandma. So no specific re rhyme or reason as to what's and what and why. Um, so wrinkle release, I've not had to use this, but other moms have had to use this for specific outfits. So this is like laundry stuff. Static guard, um, not exactly sure why the floss is in here, but floss is in here. And then tied to go pens, which we've used a few times for other people. Um, so again, I overpack the bag. However, um, I kind of take care of everybody. I don't just take care of my daughter. So um, that's why we have so much stuff. Most people would not have this much stuff. Um, nail file buffer. That's really for me if I sit and get bored, which honestly, who sits and gets bored at a competition? Not a backstage pairing. Um, and then this little cheap kit um, with file clippers. I think another file. I don't really know what this crap is. I'm a nurse. I don't obviously take care of my hands. So um, we have these available. Clippers are nice to have because, you know, if you get a nail that gets snagging something, you need to trim it. Nail polish wipes, very handy to have. We've had some kids that have shown up with nail polish. That is not allowed at competitions. Uh, so they will deduct points and you will get in big, big trouble. So we always have a ton of these and this does diminish throughout the year. So it's kind of handy. So again, this is mostly like laundry and then emergency stuff. A lint brush, which obviously gets very much used. And then a sewing kit. I don't sew, but other people would know how to sew, so I always have it. Those don't need to go in there. Um, so kind of every color of thread that we would need, scissors, a few safety pins. This is something my mom gave us for her bag, so we always have it just in case. It's easier to use that than a big, huge sewing kit. On this side, I don't know if you want to come over here. On this side, we have Evian spray. Um, this is super handy for, this one's almost empty, um, for when the girls get really, really hot, or boys, I guess, or the moms um, get really, really hot. And it's, um, it's supposed to be almost like a makeup setting spray, too, but it doesn't run your makeup. Uh, it doesn't ruin anything. We just spray it, like, on their chest, sometimes under their pits, their face, their back, to try to cool them off the back of their neck. Um, it's really handy because sometimes backstage it gets really, really hot, especially at recitals. It gets really, really hot because you don't get hardly any break. Um, my daughter wears contacts, so we always have spare contacts, lots and lots of them <laughs> for each eye. So those are in there. This is something new. Oh, my husband just came home, so hopefully he doesn't interrupt us. This is something new um, that I had handmade uh, from Etsy. It's a little bag that you can see through one side, and then I found this um, safety pin fabric on eBay and we just have tons and tons of safety pins we usually will just take a like a ziploc bag like this or even bigger of safety pins and literally open it and chuck it onto a table and moms and the older girls just grab safety pins as they go um, I found this hairpin pal check that out at Bobby's dance store in Omaha and it's so because we had a phone call so this is handy to have safety pins we can just throw those wherever and I like that it's clear, so if some of, some of them are open, and you open it and you go to reach your hand in there, you're not going to stab yourself. You can kind of see, because that sucks. Butt glue. We always have butt glue available. I usually carry one in my pocket, because um, kids need it, like, right away. Usually not my kid. This is first aid kit and medication, so I always have Tylenol ibuprofen. Um, we had a girl get hurt at our first competition and she bled. Her foot bled all over the stage. Um, so I bought liquid bandage. And then first aid kit. Just a cheapie from Target that I got for free. And it's just got the cheapest band-aids you could find in gauze. Nothing fancy. Um, Neosporin spray. And then I get really bad headaches. So I have extra special medicine. So... All of that kind of fits in here, but not really. I kind of have to shove it in here. Not the best bag for that. 
And if you do have asthma like me, we put our, my inhaler in that. Oh yeah, we don't have that in here right now, but her inhaler and spacer we usually have um, thrown in here too. Actually, you can go get that if you want. Go get your Batman bag. This is what we put our makeup in. Um, it's clear so we can see what we're getting into. Okay, I'll just hang on to that. Like I said, most of the time um, our makeup is done um, by somebody that was hired for the competition to do makeup. Um, so really, I only keep stuff to either do touch-ups or recital makeup um, or myself. So I always have uh, Q-tips and cotton balls, a makeup eraser, which we really haven't had to use a ton, but it's handy to have just in case you need it. Lotion, um, neat trick that my mom taught me when I was a teenager. You get makeup under your eye, like eye liner or mascara, and you can't get it, and it's just smudging and smudging and smudging. If you take just a dab of lotion and put it like on a cotton ball, just dip a cotton ball in here and just lightly rub it. Don't get it in your eye because then you'll be crying. But just rub it, rub it, rub it. It will take that the black off, and it won't show at all. So, like, it won't show that you took makeup off at all. So we always keep a just a super small thing of lotion. Um, and then just kind of touch up makeup is all we really carry. I don't carry like a ton of eyeshadows or anything. Um, we have to have our own mascara. So the two that we typically use is either Maybelline Rocket or I don't even know who this is. CoverGirl. So Lashy, this is a new one. Um, and I always do like one waterproof and one non. So this one's waterproof. This one's not. It's got this ball on the end, so it's kind of hard to do, but um, it looks really, really good. And then we do lip scents. So she always has her gloss, her color, and her oops. And then setting spray, which I love Urban Decay's All Nighter. That's what I use on myself, and it works super well um, for dance, for stage makeup as well. So this is just a cheap bag I got it. Walgreens or CVS or something. It's handy because you can see exactly what you need, where to grab it. Oh yeah, there's body shining like glitter in there. Oh, that's another thing. Primer. Which I don't see. We typically use um, Prime Time. It's not in here, but I have a small thing of Prime Time and then Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer. The best. The best stuff in the world. In NARS blush primer. That's not blush primer, that's highlighter. Oh. So oh, makeup well. makeup all goes here. See how much I pay attention to makeup? So that's kind of how it goes inside the bag. You've got these two compartments. I already opened this one, but this side is always a buckle. This one is kind of our... Um, junk. Kind of our junk, I guess. Yeah, you're right. So I always have um, portable chargers because phones will go dead and that's how we all of the moms and the studio owner and director and teachers and everybody gets a hold of each other so I always have a ton of chargers um, and I usually carry like a wall charger too but it's in my purse so those are all in here butt glue again that's probably the one that's usually in my pocket um, I always have tissues either here or in the bag with the makeup stuff masking tape Pens, highlighters, and markers. Highlighters come in handy because we will go through, as soon as we get to a competition, we start highlighting everything that we're in um, because schedule changes and it's handy to have available. Notepad, which we don't typically use, but um, just in case. This, I don't want to get all over the outfit, so I never put this in the main part of the bag. It always goes here because if it's going to leak, I want it to leak on stuff I don't really care about. E6000. Um, I've had to use it a few times on girls, either shoes or outfits with like little gems or jewels. Um, so this is super, super good stuff. And then I have a cloth in case it uh, leaks everywhere. And I always keep this under whatever I'm gluing because this stuff is, it's like magic, but you will get, it will get stuck. So, and I keep it in a Ziploc bag. And then ponchos, which I'm not going to pull straight out, but we have a couple of ponchos. Which and actually came in handy which when we were in Des Moines. Came, her very first competition came in handy. Um, it started pouring. And so here's a free one that we got from a, from a salon. And then the one that came with the, out, with the uh, bag. So I shoved both of these in there. And that I have 
readily available in this front pocket so I don't have to open her bag, dig through everything because of course it happened when we were leaving the hotel. We were running late. We needed to get the poncho over her now and go. So it's super, super handy to have. So this pocket is usually overfilled and stuff is usually hanging out, but that's just the way I usually have it. I don't always have the butt glue right here. I think I just threw it there after recital, so because it had been in my pocket. So and you can tighten it if you want. So I just don't. This side is the side that this isn't the original zipper. Um, this zipper, this whole thing was like shredded off. So the lady sold it to me for really cheap and I had this zipper replaced. So um, I think it was originally blue to match the bag. So this compartment is typically used for food or makeup, things you don't want to melt or get hot. So um, it's insulated. You can put snacks in there. Most places that have competitions will not allow you to have snacks. So, um, or water, which most of the time people break that rule. But um, sometimes we'll put a couple small bottles of water, like those little mini ones um, that you can get in like a 12 pack. But um, I don't use it for that really. I put wet wipes in there. I'm not sure why there's cotton balls in this bag. I put wet wipes in there because again, I don't want them to leak all over the outfits. So I keep anything that is leakable. Well, I put everything in Ziploc bags anyway, but that kind of stuff I put in here. Makeup wipes which we have in this container. And again, her name is on everything because you will you wouldn't believe how many kids show up with the same stuff. And then again, these are in a Ziploc bag, makeup wipes. And then this is in a Ziploc bag. And the other thing that comes in handy are straws. I will bring tons of straws to every competition and recital and I need to refill it every single time because all of the girls use it because um, they don't want to mess up their makeup and we don't want them to spill anything down their shirt or um, mess up their makeup with it. And so I always have a ton of straws. Um, we use them in bottles of water. We use them when they get anything. And of course we don't allow like red juice or anything like that. Almost always we want kids to drink water, but it doesn't matter. We don't want them to ruin their, their outfit or their makeup. And so straws are the thing to go, even if you're not a competition parent. So Recital, it still helps too. Recital. See in this zipper, and again, this isn't the original zipper, so think nothing of this, that it's getting stuck right now. We'll fix that later. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll show you the curtain. Just make a huge mess here. And like I said, we would put my inhaler in here with my space oh, yeah. spacer. Another um, Etsy find. This lady um, makes these. She makes them all sizes. This one is specifically for an inhaler, so it comes with this clip, so we can clip this onto a backpack or something. But spacer and inhaler fits in here perfectly. And then again, I'm crazy, but just in case I'm not around, um, I'll just hide these. But um, in case of emergency phone numbers, parents are on there, um, her medical history, her allergies and then her medication so kind of handy to have just in case we need it we've never really needed it but sometimes competitions can get hot and stuffy I have seen some kids that have needed it when they come off stage so it's a scary thing so we always have this thrown in here too but it's not competition season so right now it's just out so my mom I saw these ideas online and it's actually really brilliant so my mom made this for us, and it's a curtain. And actually, we had one for the smaller bag, too, but when I sold it, I gave the gal that I sold it to the curtain. Um, but again, the rooms get really, really tight. Sometimes you're in there with multiple studios. All, girls are all with girls, and boys are all with boys, so you don't have to worry about that. But some girls are a little bit more modest than others, and so having a curtain would be handy. So this would hang like so, or vice versa, whichever way you want it. Um, I would rather be on the side where everything is so that I know nobody's getting into my bag. So this is the curtain that she made. Um, I know Dream Duffel recently started selling ones that like wrap around and supposedly make like a dressing room. That would never work, um, just my own personal opinion. But this is kind of handy. So um, even though I'm a little bit tall for this, so that means most girls would be way too tall for it, you can still get dressed behind this pretty easily. Um, you could squat down or whatever and change. It'd be handy for the shorter girls. So I don't know if you want to come on the side and look and see. You can hang outfits over it. 
they hang just fine. It just sticks out over here. Who cares? So I've seen girls that have like their names embroidered and these all fancy and people sell those for like 60 bucks. I think my mom went to the fabric store and I think we paid like probably 10 or 15 bucks for the fabric. So, um, and you can do it even cheaper than that. This is kind of fancy. So it does come in handy when you're right next to a door and you kind of, yeah, you, yeah. Cause the doors are opening and closing and men are walking by, dads are walking by, um, that are doing props or other people are walking by. You don't want everybody to see you. So even though our girls will wear a bra, um, it's still in booty shorts. It's still, it's just kind of eh, not cool. So, And then again, this pulls off pretty easily, and you literally can just like push it down and it just goes. Really easy. Um, and like I said, this bag does have little clips right here to hang the bar, um, but our bag is so full, I just don't always do it. I just throw it. That and it gets, it might get broken in the car yeah. when it's getting tossed when around. it's getting pushed around, so. And the only way that we can fit it in the car is on its side, so. It is a really big bag. I drive um, a CRV with a pretty big trunk. trunk, and this takes up that trunk. So if you have a smaller car, this will work if you put it in the back seat or something, but it's pretty, pretty tight back there. So then these hangers, again, like I said, they're specific for the, these bags. They can hook onto here like that, and then we will usually alternate them again. My bag is really full because of all this stuff. Most people would not have this much stuff, and so these would stay right here just fine. And then I will usually alternate them like that. And then I usually put like if there's breakable stuff, I don't put it right on the bottom. And honestly, I don't usually use these hooks because I think they're a pain in the butt. I usually just set stuff down like that. Say hi, Dan's dad. <laughs> oh yeah, this is usually down there with her curtain. So this is how it usually goes as we find stuff that we forgot. Two pack. This is brand new. I'm not used to that. He's the picture guy. That's he's the picture guy, and the what number are we on guy? Yeah. Normally, if we're backstage or in the back, or back in the dressing room, I mean, then we can't notice what number we're on until we ask somebody. Oh, one important thing I forgot. This is something that I just did. I can show you on the medium. This is handy mm. um, if you get the itinerary. Ahead of time, of course, things change sometimes that day. This was um, our recital, so um, I highlighted all of the dances she was in um, so that she knew because I was backstage and I wasn't able to be there all the time. And then it has, and the competitions will always have the kids' names too, so who's in what. Um, but I put it on the biggest carabiner that I had, and then... And then it barely still fits. Thanks, AJ, for the negative comment. But it still, it works, but... And then used a ring, and she could just flip it like this. Super handy. I've seen other kids do it, do it, and so that's why I started to do it. Um, and I just found cheap, like leftover page protectors, and just threw them in there. And so we can reuse it and just take them out. So super handy. So we do that. This bag will be extremely, extremely heavy to lift. Him and my brother normally lift it. Can you get that other zipper? Mm. No, she can't. Well, yeah, no, I can't. Dream Duffles always have um, patches you can look on the medium. So hers we kind of jazzed up, I had it embroidered, and then we jazzed it up with some fabric and some glue. Um, but it always comes with um, a blank patch on the top and then on the back. 
there's a patch, and I had her dance studio embroidered on there. They are removable. You can buy blank patches on the Dream Duffel site. Then there's always this compartment on the back of all three sizes that can fit a stool. And her stool has a cover, but normally this is what it would look like. But this cover was on clearance, so it matched her back. Kind of. Uh, we don't actually use this a whole lot because there's not a lot of sitting, but some of the kids would use it if they did their own makeup and whatnot. So, and she could sit here, have that mirror hanging, touch up her makeup or whatever. It's kind of soft, as you can see. It's a bit cushiony, so kind of nice. And then it just fits in here like that. And then we always have um, a label. So I actually had this made, again, Etsy. And then the dance kids, the team kids, got these made at the studio last year. Then... It lifts on this side. This telescope's up. You push this button, telescope's up, and you can tip it. It's got a handle here and a handle on the other side so that you can lift it into the bag. So her and I will usually tag team it because some places don't have elevators, so that's always fun. So we'll tag team it, oh, carry it up the stairs. I'll take one and she'll take the other, and then this telescope's down pushing the handle. So it does, it is really steady and sturdy, but again, it's really heavy. Um, again, we have a ton of stuff in it and we don't even have everything in it that we normally do. So it does get really, really heavy. So that's what we usually pack in our dream duffel. The only other thing um, that isn't in there that usually is, is like hair straighteners. Um, I always carry at least one, if not two, with um, a heat protectant pad on it to put it on when I'm doing hair. Um, there we go. And then snacks and stuff like that, since I don't use that um, pocket, we always have just a different bag, just a cheap backpack and stain free out, uh, stain free snacks. And then we usually have waters in here, so to be honest, I usually have pop and maybe a coffee in one hand, so <laughs> That's how we usually pack our dream duffel. If you have any questions, message me. Comment. Comment.